My Easter as a kid consisted of this, going to church, eating candy, and watching VeggieTales and Easter Carol. It was, and remains to be, a tradition to watch the movie every Easter. Just like other movies when I was younger, I didn't really understand it, but the more I got older, the more I loved this thing. I'm going to split this video into segments, starting with the... An Easter Carol is a parody of A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. But there are many differences, such as, but not limited to, only one spirit named Hope, who's less of a spirit and more of a vision as described by Grandma. Yes, that's her actual name. And also that Ebenezer Nezer is not actually a Scrooge, for he does not hate Easter. Quite the opposite, actually. Nezer loves Easter, he just does not get the point. Easter! The point! You got it all backwards and upside down! Oh, you're not a miser or a Scrooge or anything like that. You just don't see what's right in front of you. <laughs> the movie begins with a song, setting up the plot of Easter coming tomorrow and the townsfolk being excited about it. Then the factory is shown for the first time. This scene was always so ominous to me. The music combined with the shots of the robotic chickens was set up fantastically. After a song about tearing down the church to make way for Easterland, Cavus and Millward get fired. Later that night, Nezer gets visited by a vision of Grandma, and then finally, we meet Hope. A vision in the form of his music box. Hope brings him around the past, present, and future. Nezer finally learns the true meaning of Easter. But the movie doesn't end there. Throughout different scenes, we can see Cavus and Millward trying to break into the factory to steal the Easterland blueprints. Finally, Cavus gets inside and gets trapped, just in time for Nezer to arrive and save him by launching themselves out a window in a minecart, only for the factory to explode behind them. After all, nothing says Easter like a factory exploding. The animation in this movie is pretty dang good for being a small production in 2004. Lots of really cool scenes with well done lip syncing. But, with a movie this old, there are bound to be plenty of... This egg disappears. His hat is floating. The comedy in this movie, like other VeggieTales productions, is brilliant. M may I ask you a question? No. Easterland will be right here! Ebenezer! Ebenezer, wake up! Huh? Who, who, who's there? Hello? Ebenezer, look at me when I'm talking to you! Uh, Grandma? Abby, Abby, get up off the floor. Don't you recognize my voice? <laughs> Why do we want to break into the factory again? <laughs> yep. I'm just going to stay awake. I'm not tired at all. I'm just going to stay wide. Got it. Millward? <gasps> A casual. Millward? Millward? Shh. or anything like that. You just don't see what's right in front of you. Hey, you gotta help me. I've been kidnapped by a bug. Well, that's Grandma, all right. But I don't remember that funny-looking kid. That's you. Oh, my. It's night again. You keep messing with the lights. So, uh, what happened here? This isn't your past, Ebenezer. This is the present. A present? For me? Oh, you shouldn't have. No, not a present. The present. Easter present. The here and now. Oh, lovely. Let's go for a ride. Okay, okay. I got another idea. All the exits are blocked. How are they going to get out? Don't worry. Our police officer is one of the bravest on the force. Yeah. Uh, officer down. <laughs> Oh, we made it! But that's not what she meant! You can't do that! Of course, I'll have to build a chocolate pony factory, too. 
In conclusion, this movie is a masterpiece. Go watch the full thing on VeggieTales Official, link in the description. Have an explosively good day, and I'll see you next time.